This video tutorial will demonstrate how to create a simple campaign in Eloqua 10. To create a new campaign, click Campaigns from the Navigation Toolbar in the My Eloqua page, and then select Create a Campaign from the Campaigns Launchpad. From the Template Chooser, select the template you wish to use for the new campaign, or select Blank to begin with a clean canvas. Creating a campaign in Eloqua 10 is as simple as dragging and dropping elements from the left-hand column over to the canvas on the right. To begin, drag and drop two elements, initially the segment members and the email that we're going to be sending to these members. In this particular instance, I'm going to target members who are from New York City and have attended a recent seminar called New York Residents. That is the name of the segment that's already been created in Eloqua 10. Once you select that segment, click anywhere outside of the configuration box to bring you back directly to the campaign canvas. Next, we need to specify which email is going to be sent. In this case, I have an email that is called Seminar Attendee. And I'm going to search for this email. And once that has been selected, click on the email, then again click outside of the configuration box to return to the canvas. Notice these two dots, one on the bottom of the segment members element and on the top of the email element. That is where you create the connection between the two elements to form the process for your campaign. Simply left click and hold down the mouse button on one and drag to the button on the next element in order to connect them. They are now connected. Notice in the upper right hand corner this 969. That indicates that there are actually 969 members in that segment. You can add other elements to this campaign by doing similar transactions. For example, if I want to know whether or not these people in the segment have submitted a form, I, double, I select the submitted form element and drag it on to the canvas on the right. You can also double click on an element to add it to the canvas if you prefer. Again, it is important to select the correct form that we wish to evaluate. In this case, it's called Business Card Info. Click to select it. Click outside of the box, but before doing so, we need to indicate a time frame within which you wish to make sure that this person has submitted the form. You don't want to make it too early, and at the same time, if you need to get that information, you need to know uh, in a certain time frame. You can select hours, days, weeks, or months, depending on your needs. Again, we need to connect the email to the form by dragging to the buttons from each other. Finally, we need to know if a person has submitted the form, what are we going to do for the next step? Are we going to contact them and ask them to join the party for Eloqua Insight and in New York? Or are we going to, in the case of somebody who does not respond by submitting the form, send them another email just as a gentle reminder? So we're going to add two more steps to the campaign. One of them is called email again. Adding that back onto the canvas, we add another email, and this one is just going to be called Reminder, as a gentle reminder for those who have not yet submitted the form. And finally, for the ones who actually have submitted the form with their information, we're going to add them to a campaign to engage them further with the Eloqua Insight product that they were already interested in. So I select Add to Campaign. The campaign that I'm going to use we would click the Choose button, and it's called Eloqua Insight Join the Party. Once we have selected and searched for that campaign, select the campaign Join the Party, and then you must select the step in that campaign that this, these segment members will be added to. In this case, they're going to be sent an email called Eloqua Insight Join the Party. Select that and click Choose. Again, click anywhere outside of the configuration box to add it to your campaign. The final step here is to connect the submitted form to the appropriate element. Don't forget that you can drag and drop the elements around the page as well to create a more visually appealing view for you in terms of your campaign workflow. Next, you have to set various options for the campaign in order for it to be saved properly. So go to the action menu and click settings. Here's where you would name the campaign. 
So in my case, I'm going to call it New York Eloqua Insight Attendees. The description field is not mandatory. However, it's a good idea to include the description to alert you to what this campaign is actually for. So I'm going to indicate that this campaign is to engage attendees in New York at the Eloqua Insight Conference. The next field is required. You must indicate the duration of the reporting for this campaign. It does not necessarily need to be the same dates as the campaign run date. So for example, if I start the campaign today, March 8th, and I wish for this to run only until Saturday the 10th, then I select those two dates and reporting data will only be collected for those dates in between the 8th and the 10th. The fields that you see on the bottom are custom campaign fields and they can be selected and created by your different organizations in order to further narrow down your reporting capabilities. Click update and then save your campaign. Once you have saved the campaign, the only thing that you have left to do now is to activate it. So once it is saved, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner the activate button. To activate your campaign, click activate and select a time frame for your activation. For example, if you want to do it immediately, then select now and then click the activate button. However, perhaps you're creating this for a later date and you wish to set it for automatic activation. So you would click later, select the date that you wish to use for the activation, enter the time in AM or PM, and then the corresponding time zone. Make sure to select the correct time zone for your activation to occur. In this case, I'm going to select now to immediately activate my campaign. You'll be prompted to confirm that you wish to activate the campaign and say yes by clicking activate. Notice that once you activate the campaign, the draft button that you formerly saw in the upper left hand corner will change to active and it will appear in green to immediately alert you to the fact that this campaign is now active. To deactivate the campaign, go back to the upper right hand corner and select deactivate and you'll be prompted to make sure that you actually do wish to deactivate the campaign.